contacted by a company um, named Anbull, A-N-B-U-L-L, -L, and uh, they were releasing some new chainsaws, and they uh, asked me if I would do uh, some reviews and stuff for them, so I figured, as you all know, I absolutely love chainsaws, so uh, yeah, of course, I said yes. Um, there will be a link down in the description, an Amazon link that you can buy this saw if you're interested in it, and um, I will also put a link to the other video that I have on the 58cc one. Um, this saw is 52ccs. I've already cut the tape here just to kind of speed up the review and um, unboxing and stuff. So this is um, their 52cc saw. Uh, shipping was fast, no issues there. And I'll bring you in, you can look at the saw here. Pretty, um, it's a it's a pretty simple saw, which is something that I like. There's no electronics, there's no firmware, there's no updates, there's not no sensors, nothing. Uh, the saw it just uh, runs. There's no electronics, but you have the operator presence lever here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Yeah, this little lever right here, and it will not let the throttle you throttle up the saw till you press that. So it has all the safety features and. Here's the choke. Um, again, very simple stuff. Um, my Chinese chainsaw, there was a lot of play in this thing. And uh, this one feels really tight. Here's a, the switch, the on-off switch there. And the air filter and spark plug are under here. Um, pretty standard stuff too. There's um, the gas goes here and the oil goes right there. And we'll flip her around here. So here is the uh, outboard clutch. Um, there's two spots for um, bar nuts. There's, it's not one, there's two, so that's good. And this saw does have a uh, anti-vibration system. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this or not. So uh, that's for less vibrations with the, uh, for the operator. And this um, saw, I think it has an elasto start. It feels like it has an elasto start in it, which um, makes it a lot easier to start for your shoulders if, in case your shoulders are getting a little tired. But uh, pretty, pretty standard stuff there. It looks like a pretty good saw. This is your muffler and stuff. Um, nothing feels, nothing feels cheap. Nothing feels like it's going to break as of that I can see for right now, so that's good. So this saw comes with, um, there's a little tool kit here that you use to um, assemble the saw. So there's your scrunch, which is poking out of the bag there. So there's a scrunch, there's your dog, which is this black thing. There's um, so you can get leverage against the log. There's a screwdriver, a file, um, the two bar nuts, which are right there. And there's an Allen key and two more Allen bolts to put the, um, the dog on. So that's good. So this saw comes with two saw chains. That right there is, uh, I don't know. 30 40 dollars maybe something like that um, these chains that uh, came with my other saws um, they were very soft they did not last more than a couple cuts and then you'd have to sharpen them so uh, the other chain that came with the other anvil saw was very good I was really impressed it was on par with an Oregon and I know that because I've ran Oregon chains and stuff before so um, I don't see why these uh, wouldn't be as good as an Oregon, but it looks like uh, they are semi chisel, and they're. Um, I have no complaints with the chains. Uh, Grant, I haven't used them, but uh, from the other saw that I have, uh, those chains in that one were just fine. This saw also comes with a mixing bottle. I, I don't really use these because I mix up my gas in a two and a half or a, a five gallon can, container, a five gallon can. 
but it's nice that it's included. There is a funnel also, so you can um, easily pour the gas and stuff into the saw. And then there is also a, uh, this would be like a, I guess it's a bag for your chainsaw that you can say that your saw uh, lives out in the back of your pickup truck. You could probably put it in this thing and kind of keep it uh, protected somewhat. So it's nice that they include that also. Here is the chain break cover. It, my Chinese one, uh, this piece here, the chain break has a lot of play in it. And this thing, um, there really is no play in it. So it's pretty tight. And I think I did have something break on this uh, on my uh, other Chinese chainsaw, but uh, this doesn't, I don't think this one's gonna break. But you can see there it says chainsaw and um, 5200, so it's a 52cc saw. And what I like about these is uh, this has a metal, you guys can see this, yeah, right there. This has a metal um, dog or whatever, a pin, I guess is what you could call it, and that will, uh, that's what you use to tighten and loosen up the chain. And some manufacturers will cheapen out on stuff and they will use a plastic they will make that plastic and uh, that is definitely metal in there so that is the uh, chain break and there is a line here for sighting I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it there right there there's a line so you can sight a tree to get it to fall where you want which is nice so this kit also comes with a, they call this a scabbard it's a, uh, a chain cover chain cover that and bar cover that you can use to uh, keep the saw from uh, you know you getting cut or something with it if it's in storage or uh, dulling it you know it's stuff like that so that's nice that they include these I don't really use this either I just kind of hang all my saws up on the wall but it's a nice addition that they do so here is the bar and it has, uh, there is a sprocket at the end. I Hopefully you guys can see that. It's a little stiff. Today it's very, very cold. But uh, there's an oiler hole so that you can oil the uh, bar or the sprocket here. These bars, it, it's, it's not an Oregon, but um, from my experiences with uh, other saws and these ones, these bars are just fine. Uh, you don't really need to go buy an Oregon one. Uh, just use this one that comes with it. It works fine. You'll be, you'll have, uh, you'll be able to run through, oh my gosh, many, 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 many tanks of fuel before this bar wears out. And just make sure that you flip it every time you sharpen the chain. So let's let's assemble this saw and uh, go from there. Now that we have this saw all assembled, it is time to gas it up and uh, fill up the bar and chain oil. So we'll start off with the bar and chain oil here. Anyone that doesn't know, um, I use a gain bottle to uh, fill up my bar and chain oil because it has that little drain in it that drains back into the um, bottle here and it doesn't all run down the side, which is really, really nice. It's got a pretty big oil reservoir. I 
And you guys know how it goes. You always got to spill some, right? That's just the way, uh, just the way chainsaws work. There might be a, a slight smell of gas in there like they've ran this. I'm not real sure. It's not real strong, so maybe they didn't. I'm not real sure, but this is where the gas goes, like I said. This thing has uh, a rather large gas tank also. You can, uh, you can cut a while, so you won't have to refill as much. So now that everything is uh, assembled and filled up, let's do the very first start on this chainsaw. I'm excited about this. This is pretty sweet. But there you go. That's what the saw looks like. Um, fully assembled. And this looks to be about a 20 inch or an 18 inch bar and chain, but So I've got my scale here all zeroed out and it should we should get a weight on this saw because this will be uh, how much it weighs brand new and everything uh, full tank of gas and full oil you can see my scale is zeroed out here so it is sitting all on the scale there there's nothing else holding it up and this saw weighs 14 pounds 8.3 ounces 14 pounds 8.3 ounces so now let's do the initial startup of this saw here are the saw is cold uh, this is the muffler here and it's as cold as it is it's probably I don't know 32 or 34 degrees out here but let's do the very first startup of this saw so again, we're going to switch the on switch to the on position. Hopefully you guys can see that. That's the on and off switch. Switch it up. And then I'm going to pull the choke out. Pull the choke out. And we're going to start this thing. Um, I'm probably going to start it actually uh, on the ground just for safety reasons. Again, very first startup of this saw. Isn't this exciting? I, I love doing stuff like this. This is pretty neat. So I'm going to put my <clears throat> right foot in the uh, starting pad here. And they recommend a 25 to 1 mix ratio, which uh, I think I have that in there. <clears throat> so let's give her a couple fulls till it acts like it wants to fire. And the saw will have to pull all the gas through the carburetor, so that's why I'm having to pull it so many times. Oh, did you hear that? It finally coughed. So it's pulled all of the gas through the gas lines and filter and everything and up to the carburetor. And that was it just coughing, acting like it wanted to start. saw is breaking in I definitely will recommend that you guys break in those saws so that um, you, you don't cause premature wear and stuff but just uh, I'm just gonna let it sit there maybe burn through a half a tank of fuel and just kind of let it get acclimated to running and uh, later on we'll go cut down a tree but first I want to um, show you guys the owner's manual uh, just because 
It has some safety stuff in it, which I probably won't go over here. But what I do want to go over is the uh, specifications of this saw, which is on the very back page. So here are the specifications of this chainsaw. It weighs 5.5 uh, kilograms, a mixture of 25 to 1 mix ratio, 550 milliliter fuel tank. Uh, they recommend 1030 mode, uh, chain oil. I use regular bar and chain oil from Walmart. Uh, let's see here, oil tank capacity of 260 milliliters. This is a 52cc saw. It max revs at uh, 10,000 RPMs and an idling, it idles at 2,800 RPMs. It has a 48 centimeter cut, a 7 tooth sprocket, 325 a pitch chain, 0.325. So this is going to be an important, um, whenever you guys need to buy replacement chains for this saw, this saw takes an Oregon a 2-1-BP slash K2 uh, Carlton slash Chinese. Uh, chain pitch, like I said, is 0 0.325, uh, 0 0.058, so 58 gauge uh, saw chain as a sprocket nose and this saw comes in 18, 20 and 22 inch bars and it does have an automatic uh, oil pump with adjuster so I'm um, those are some of the uh, specifications for this saw oh boy we got the manual dirty already but um, it's got other things in there um, I'm probably not going to go over those but yeah the the saw is running it sounds good now that starting procedure that I did, that's the very first one. You will not have to go through that again. This saw should start on the very first pull when warm and maybe five-ish pulls when cold, as long as it's running right and everything. So again, that uh, starting procedure, you won't have to see me pull those, pull that pull rope so many times to get that saw to start. Because like I said, that it had to pull all the gas and stuff uh, through the carburetor, so that is not normal. That's just a one-time uh, deal. You only have to do that one time. So now that this saw is running and it's kind of breaking in a little bit, let's see if the chain brake works. <laughs> So it's interesting, this saw has enough of power to um, overpower the chain brake. But, you know, if that engages, you know, you're pretty much off the throttle eventually, you know, I mean, pretty quickly, but for me, that's not really an issue. That doesn't bother me. Now, um, this saw could, um, there could be a little bit of oil um, whenever they manufacture this on the chain brake, and that's why that is slipping. So probably with use, um, that chain brake will totally stop this thing so i don't really think that that's an issue let's do a, a warm start of this saw so i will flip the uh, on switch to on that is off that is on and this saw definitely does have an elasto start which i really like it you know feel every compression stroke in your shoulder when you're trying to start this thing so that's um i really really like that so let's uh do a warm start of this thing So price of this saw is uh, just a little bit over $100, and that is not much money for this thing, believe me. Uh, this is uh, an excellent 
deal for a little over a hundred dollars and uh, this saw will pay for itself if you had to pay someone to cut down one tree this saw will pay for itself in the very first use and that's uh non-negotiable because nobody really wants to cut down a tree for a hundred dollars and bring equipment and all sorts of other stuff there but you just have your time and maybe a, a small garden tractor or something that you can use to uh, move the logs and stuff with but uh, overall I am uh, I'm pleased with this saw it starts it runs it works it uh, does everything that I ask it to so let's go cut down a tree next the bar oiler is definitely working because whenever I was revving that in front of the saw I have bar and chain oil all over my camera so uh, the bar and chain oiler is definitely working on this saw I can see it in the lens and on the screen on the camera whoops this is a tree I want to take down. It's uh, it's halfway decent size. It's a, an ash tree. Uh, this tree was has been struggling for years and years and years and years. But uh, it should have um, some pretty nice wood in here where these two uh, limbs, where the tree lies off. There should be some beautiful wood in there. But you can see it's time. It's time to let this tree go. But all that is from the emerald ash borer. This is... Uh, a tree that the emerald ash borer uh, got but I think I'm gonna try to send it this way and there is definitely some branches and stuff up there hopefully I won't have to wedge it there's some loose branches just sitting up there but we'll see what happens in these trees these trees make an absolute nightmare of a mess to clean up the the branches just hit the ground and then they break like glass and there are a million pieces uh, Ash trees aren't fun to clean up, but there's, uh, I don't know if you guys can see this. There's about two or three more I'd like to take down down here, but we're going to start with this one first. So let's get started.
think of this saw I think it's a good saw I don't really have any complaints the um, carburetor just needed that little adjustment and I think I have to uh, adjust it a little bit more plus I think this saw still needs to break in it's gonna take uh, you know it's take some hours to break this saw in but overall I'm very pleased with it I have no complaints it paid for itself on this very first tree and actually if I pan out here you guys will see what I mean. This tree is in a million different pieces right now. Not including the pieces that I've cut. But just all of the all of the branches are just they're just scattered. It probably doesn't show up very well on camera, but they're they're all scattered. But yeah, all in all, I am very pleased with that saw. Other than just a little bit of carb work, which is uh, just tightening a screw in because it was idling too low so when you want it to idle higher you do the front screw on the bottom here and you tighten that just maybe a quarter turn probably not even a half turn but uh, I'm very uh, very happy with the saw so it has it has about a 18 and a quarter inch bar and this tree, the stump, measures 17 and a half and about 18. So that was a that was a good sized tree, um, about the size of the other one on the other saw that I did, the other review. If you guys have any questions or anything about this saw, put them down in the comments and I'll try to answer them. I do get a lot of YouTube comments in a day. Uh, that's just kind of the way things are and there's only one of me and there's lots of you watching so yeah I'm happy with it it's a good saw once it breaks in and I get the um, carburetor adjustments just dialed right in I think this saw will last a long long time the oiler works the chains nice and sharp it lasts for a long time the on off switch works um, I ran this saw probably a week ago uh, in between filming these other clips and this saw does not leak on the ground, which I am very happy about. Uh, my Chinese one now has an oil spot about that big underneath it, but um, these ones don't leak, so I'm very pleased. It, the elasto start works good. Uh, you don't feel every compression stroke in your shoulder, but good. I, uh, I like it. It's a good saw. So I hope everyone enjoyed my video. Again, there'll be a link down in the description or a card or something where I'll put uh, the link to the other video as well as a link to buy the saw if you guys are interested in a 52 cc chainsaw this is gas two stroke with a 20 inch bar it's only like a hundred and six dollars i mean that's really cheap guys really affordable how about we say that very affordable and look i can this all paid for itself in the first use so hope everyone enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more and don't forget to ring the little bell uh, icon. Uh, it's beside the subscribe button. So thanks for watching, and we will see you all in the next one.